Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install Wine on Manjaro Linux. So let's get into the video. So you're probably wondering, well, why Manjaro Linux? Well, it is a popular Arch variation of Linux, so it just seems like a good idea to know how to install it, because it's not the same as Debian-based variations, which do it differently. So this is why I'm making this video. So the machine I'm currently running on is a Manjaro Linux. It so along with the fact of it I'm running it through Vert Manager with this is just basins. Vert Manager using install all of that jazz. So first thing we need to do is we need that which is pseudo pacman hyphen syu just do general update. Make sure we have everything there as we can see here this one get only office which is somehow 208 megabytes in size then again that is the entirety of open office which is not too bad considering we're actually gaining back 0.43 megabytes worth of space yeah. so we just got to wait for this to complete again this is advised you do such a thing upon installing a new software so now that we've done that First thing we need to do is sudo pacman s sudo install wine bricks mono and wine on the gecko. And in this case, what this will be downloading here is this will be downloading all of the packages needed. So in this case, this will be downloading wine 8.1, which is the latest version that it will, is available currently. Manjaro, the current stable version of Wine, <coughs> is Wine version 8. What we want to do is we want to select yes. I could have changed it to enable parallel downloads, but in this case we'll just sit and wait. Now this is just going through, doing the usual checking, making sure everything is correct, confirming everything and going through. Here this is just said. So, um, with this uh, optional dependencies for wine are these ones which are installed, which is fine. We have wine, so if we do wine hyphen version, see here we currently have wine 8.1 installed. So if we were to go get ourselves an exe, for example, uh, say, oh, Google Chrome. Google Chrome exe download, reject all cookies because I don't want tracking me there, thank you. And download the installation file. Download Chrome. Uh again, nope. Nope. I don't know. Well, I'm not exactly a fan of Google Chrome. It does this <clears throat> every single time. So what we'll do is we'll just go and cleaner. We will download C cleaner, which won't work on here. That no, that is correct because that's uh, I try to click an add link and my Pi holes running and just caught it. Which, but we'll grab a grab this exe. This should not work because this is an exe. But if we open up the file. We right click and as we can see here, open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Now, for the first time running Wine, it will create a new Wine configuration for home directory. Just to say, hey, look, this is where to do it. And then it will download any packages that it needs to be. So in this case, it may Mono <coughs> or Wine Gecko. But <coughs> as we can see, it's going straight the way through without any hassle at all. And as we can see, this is installed just about instantly. And once it decides to catch up, we'll be done. But it is this; it is quicker and easier, uh, in my opinion, to install Wine on Manjaro. Granted, I don't use Manjaro any anymore, and I won't. But quicker and easier, wonderful. But anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, maybe consider hitting the like button. If you dislike the video, consider hitting the dislike button. 
but also maybe subscribing as well. Anyway, I have been Nick. You have been amazing. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.